I was asked this very interesting question. I feel it could have been a loaded question, but at the same time, <clears throat> I am just so busy doing me and, and building my brand and building such a positive community that for me it was a more an inspiring question. <laughs> I had a fan ask me, since it's now 2020, what would be either your advice, your positive words of wisdom, or your hopes and dreams for Ring of Honor and Women of Honor? <clears throat> First of all, I hope that they continue to see the potential and the worth in Women of Honor. Um, <laughs> women of Honor has been fighting to be a thing since before Women of Honor even had a name. I remember being a jobber getting my butt beat before Women of Honor was even a thing with women trying to fight to get TV time. And I mean, you had people like Sarah Delray, Daisy Hayes, Awesome Kong coming in there to prove that women could go and uh, <laughs> that they deserved a spot. And when you think about women like that, you think, wow, there really is something here. And places like NXT, Impact, so many other people are showing that women's wrestling is worth it. Up and down the East Coast, there's so many women shows. Why? Because there's so much talent and potential there. They deserve to be on television. They deserve to be on pay-per-view because they they put in the work. You know what I'm saying? And numbers don't lie. Look at the top rated views on their YouTube. It's a lot of women like myself. <laughs> So I really hope that, you know, the women that are there continue to fight for what they want and that Ring of Honor really, really sees the potential and the value that these women really bring to the program. They, they, they fight so hard. They are so talented. Women, we, we deserve it. And it's not just because I am woman, here we weren't. No, it's because we're all professionals at the end of the day. And yeah, there may only be so long for a television program say one hour or two hours but that doesn't mean that there can't be women in that you know what i mean women we we also bring value just like men do we're all professionals <clears throat> for ring of honor i hope that you really in 2020 really start listening to everything that's going on and really just bring honor back to the passion that is in your wrestling that your company was founded on you know ring of honor it it, it was amazing amazing wrestling that you would almost see nowhere else and that's what really elevated ring of honor through the years and made it what it became and i want to see it get back to that potential so many people have come up through ring of honor and made something of themselves because of the passion that ring of honor was known for and i really hope that they bring that that passion back but the honor back as well because that's just as important as the passion um you know all, all the moving parts have to work for a clock to work and for me, there's so much potential. There's so, there's just so many good things. And I, I want to see that because I don't want to see companies shut down and close because then that's less opportunities for professional wrestlers. I feel that there's a, a, a spot and a place for every different kind of style, just like flavors of ice cream. And I want to see that continue to grow and to prosper and to do the right thing and to be what you're supposed to be. There's so much potential. And I really feel that Women of Honor and Ring of Honor can really do that if they start bringing the passion back to their product and the honor and the hard work and the dedication that all of those professionals are putting into it. Because at the end of the day, we all know what we do is not easy. Fans understand that what getting into that ring is not easy. Putting on a, a show-stopping match that tells a story and makes people dispend belief for a little bit is not easy. It's fun, but it's not easy, and it's a lot of hard work. And I think people need to be rewarded for that. People need to know that, you know, their jobs matter, that they matter, that all their hard work, their passion, their childhood dreams matter. And I think that's very important, and I want to see that in Women of Honor and Ring of Honor. And that would be my positivity for that, you know, and I feel like it's taken me a long time to look at not just the business that way but the world as a whole that way because you know we can there's only so much we as individuals to do but together our voices can be heard and to me that's the biggest difference that really brought me to today into 2020 and i feel like that's a huge blessing and i feel like if more people felt this much positivity and as blessed as i do with the taylor army the world would be such a better place and the business would have so much more opportunity